हेलो अरवन नमस्कार सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम फूरिया कोसाइन ट्रांसफॉर्म सो फाइंड द फूरिया कोसाइन ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एफ एक्स इक्वल्स टू ई पावर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर बाय टू एंड हेंस इवेलुएट द फूरिया साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एक्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय ई पावर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर बाय so let's first focus on the fourier cosine transform of fx so fourier cosine transform of fx will come out to be a function of s and that is integral from 0 to infinity fx cos sx dx so this is 0 to infinity fx is e power minus x square by 2 cos sx so let's assume this as i so if you calculate di by ds from here just focus on terms containing s so 0 to infinity e power minus x square by 2 derivative of cos sx is minus sin sx and with chain rule you will get an extra s now you have got this di uh, will you will get an extra x not s because we are doing with respect to s now what we can do we can take x e power minus x square by 2 as one function this as one function and uh, your sin sx as the other function if you focus on the first uh, carefully then uh, if you find the derivative of e power minus x square by 2 what you will get first of all derivative of exponential part so e power minus x square by 2 now by using chain rule derivative of uh, minus x square is minus 2x and this 2 remains as it is so you get minus x e power Minus x square by two, so we can also write this as di by ds is equal to d of e power minus x square by two and sine s x. now uh if we integrate uh, this 
using integration by parts. So which function to take as first function? So if we take this as the first function and this as the second function. So di by ds is equal to first function as it is into integration of this thing. Now integration of derivative of any function is the function itself. So you will get this function only minus integral of Derivative of sine is cos sx into s again integration of this d of e power minus x square by 2 is e power minus x square by 2 and dx. Now if I take s out from here in this step only. and uh, I transfer limit individually so limit on this and limit on this then this complete thing is nothing but our i because i was e power minus x square by 2 cos sx dx. So now we can again write this as di by ds equal to now in this uh, if you put infinity so if you put infinity in place of x it will be 1 upon e power infinity which is 0 and for lower limit this will make this 0 because sin 0 is 0. So this is completely giving you 0 on, apply, on applying of limit. Only this is left and uh, out of which this is i only. So di by ds is minus s times i. Fine. Now this is a simple problem of separation of variables. So di by i is minus s ds log i equals to minus s square by 2 plus log c. log i minus log c <coughs> that will become log i by c now if the base is e this i by c can be written as e power minus s square by 2 so your i can be written as c e power minus s square by 2 now for finding uh, this uh, value of constant what we can do is put s equals to 0 because if you put s equals to 0 i will be equal to c now you have to calculate the value of LHS because if you are putting s equals to 0 we are doing it on both the sides so on RHS you are getting C but what about LHS so LHS we have to go back to the expression of I so here if we put s equals to 0 you get 0 to infinity e power minus x square by 
सो आई now we know one standard integral that 0 to infinity e power minus x square dx is under root pi divided by 2 so we have to convert this into that form so as to use the direct result so what we can do uh wait wait a minute wait a minute uh there was e power minus x square by 2 not s square by 2 so we here will have x square by 2 now what we can do is uh, in order to get that why not take x as t root 2 because if you take x as t root 2 then x square will be 2t square okay. now from here your dx will be dt times root 2 will there be any change to limits no when x equals to 0 t will also be 0 and when x equals to infinity t will also be infinity so let's solve this so value of i at s equals to 0 will be 0 to infinity and x square is 2t square 2t square by 2 is t square so e power minus t square and dt root so if i take root 2 out now integral is in x variable or t variable that doesn't matter the result will again be equal to a constant which is root pi by 2 only so this will give us root pi by 2 so you will get a root 2 into root pi by 2 which is nothing but under root pi by 2. now this i at s equals to 0 was equal to c okay so you got the value of c as root pi by 2 now finally write the value of i which was c and uh, with that we had e power minus s square by 2. and i was nothing but the fourier cosine transform of fx so that came out to be root pi by 2 e power minus s square by now if we have cosine transform and we want to find the sine transform of x times fx we have cosine transform of fx and we want to find the sine transform of x times fx then we have a direct result you can prove it also that's a 
Sing, uh, it's a two to three step process. This is given by minus d by ds of Fourier cosine transform of fx. So let's differentiate this. So you are going to get uh, let's take this root pi by 2 outside minus sign also outside derivative of e power minus s square by 2 is e power minus s square by 2 only derivative of s square is 2s so minus 2s divided by 2 will be minus s So this will give you minus n and minus. So this will be plus. So root pi by 2 and s e power minus s square. So Fourier sine transform of x times fx. came out to be fx you all know is e power minus x square by 2 in this case the Fourier sine transform of x times e power minus x square by 2 came out to be root pi by 2 s e power minus s square by 2 okay so again it was easy question uh, just a bit lengthy Again, we adopted the same method. We don't know how to integrate. So, we took this as i, point di by ds. Uh, just manipulated it, integrated it. Okay. Then, uh, we separated the variables. Got the value of i. And that was your Fourier cosine transform. And to find the sine transform from cosine transform, we need uh, to find the sine transform with x in multiplication from cosine transform we need to differentiate it with respect to s okay so i think this is an easy question because fourier cosine transform you have uh, zero to infinity fx cos sx dx so from there if you want to find sine so differentiate it with respect to s so one x and one minus sign will come that is what you wanted so I hope you understood this. Do watch my playlist on Fourier transform of more such questions. Thanks and have a nice day.